All right. Thank you, boss. <laughs> Uh, all right, so hi there. Welcome to Fun with Sikulaida and Wasilipsi. Um, my name is Jesus Gonzalez, and I work at Wasal Labs at VMware Office of the CTO with some other folks over there. Um, let's talk about Sikulite. So I assume everyone here really knows about Sikulite. So I'm going to highlight just one single aspect. Um, it's the most used DV engine worldwide. You can find it into your smartphone, you can find it into your tablet. You also can find it into your browser, or even in some IoT devices, appliances, and even in your car. So that's a notion about how important really is SQLite. So we thought that to bring more application into the WebAssembly ecosystem, it would be great to have SQLite built for WASI. All right, so how would you compile SQLite? So if you look at the traditional tool chain, um, you will make use of a C standard library that will allow your source code to, you know, emit some sys call to a POSIX OS. And if you want to build it as a WebAssembly for the browser, you can make use of a toolchain like mscript. Um, and by the way, this is what we used back in July last year to showcase how WordPress could be run entirely in, in your browser powered by SQLite. And you can also build it for, you know, as WebAssembly for the server using a tool chain like WASI SDK. It will make use of WASI libc, which is an implementation that will map some of the uh, POSIX calls into WASI calls. And for the missing features, it will try to, <coughs> to excuse me, to emulate them. Um, now, if we focus on the latter use case, um, from the developer point of view, the workflow is pretty much the same than in the traditional tool chain. So if you remember the duck test, you know, like if it looks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, it will probably, probably be a duck, right? Um, it turns out that for Wasi Leaf C, um, it looks like POSIX, compiles like POSIX, but is definitely not POSIX. Part of the reason is because of the um, emulated functions. And they assist to work around some of the missing pieces in WASI and WebAssembly. They are API compatible, so you don't need to change the source code. And you must uh, activate them explicitly, which, by the way, I, I, I believe it's a you know, smart decision. Um, so let me share now what was our experience with one of those emulated functions while trying to port SQLite into WASI. So first of all, uh, the implementation of WASI libc, I mean the Mmap implementation in WASI libc, doesn't really pretend to fulfill the POSIX uh, specification. One of the limitations is that it won't write back into the file system once, I mean once you are done with, you, you know, with, with your map uh, file, you map a file into the, into the memory. But also, and more importantly, it won't return you a line in memory. So this particular limitation, you know, gave us a strong headache while porting SQLite because the side effect was that SQLite wasn't able to read some of the databases while it worked with others. So that was, at the same time, you know, hard and fun to debug. So let me share a couple of takeaways from our lessons learned while porting SQLite into WASI that I do believe it will be useful for other C, C++ um, code bases. So first of all, you really, really, really want to understand the differences between the, two, the, the different tool chains. And as an example, you know, process ident processes identifiers, they don't have any sense on WebAssembly. So WASI libc do, you know, just returns a, a fixed value there. And I believe that will work in, you know, 99.99% .99 of the cases, but it could be the, it could be happen that it won't work in others. Also remember that WASI is not POSIX. They have a common core, like, you know, opening file, closing files. There are missing pieces, as I mentioned before, and 
fortunately, we are keep extending WASI with new set of features like WASI NN, WASI Cloud, et cetera. The second main takeaway is that if compiled, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will work. Um, so here is kind of a few steps that I will suggest to follow. The first one is you go and directly and debug what is the outcome from WASI and WASI LC because it probably, I mean, there are good chances that it's not what your software is expecting. So if it still doesn't, I mean, if you find the, the root cause there, um, you should try to disable that feature that is missing in WASI and WASI LC. And that's what we did with Iskilite because it was relying on a full MMAP implementation that wasn't there. Fortunately for us, um, disabling MMAP in SQLite was easy because, I mean, SQLite was designed to not use it at the cost of using a less performant um, journaling method, but it would work. And finally, if you cannot disable, you should really try to patch it. Um, that was something that we found not in SQLite but in PHP, in the, I mean, in the interpreter. And as you can imagine, you cannot disable the interpreter because it's part of the, of the core function. So we had to work around and patch it with a different way to get a line in memory. Um, with that, that's all I have for today. I hope you find it useful. Um, thank, you. thank you for your attention. See you around. Thank you very much for the presentation, Jesus. I think we have time for one question before the next one. Thank you, Ron. Hey, great presentation. Um, I was wondering if there are any uh, system call functions that you found that you could not patch. Sorry, I couldn't hear because of the background noise. So. Oh, sure. I, I was wondering if there were any functions that you found when you were doing this that you could not patch. Oh. Yeah. Um, well, I do believe that. Well, let's use a map as an as the example. So in POSIX, a map is kind of a Swiss knife. So depending on the use of that function, there is no way to patch it. Like, um, so for example, in the in the sense of the memory, if you really want allocated memory, that will imply that in the web assembly module linear memory, you will waste a lot of memory uh, because of the minimum page size that in web assembly is 64 kilobytes and in the linear memory, you know, in, in, in the x86 is just four kilobytes. So the way WASILIFC is using that function, it needs to provide a header into the linear memory before the memory that you are mapping actually. So I don't see a way, an easy way to patch that unless you don't, you don't care of wasting a lot of memory in WebAssembly. I think that's one of the simple. I have others that we can catch up offline and tell you. Yeah, we do. Thank you for the presentation. Uh, Jesus, please give a round of applause.